Hey guys, I'm just trying to fix this, so bear with me for one second. I suppose that's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> um, welcome to my channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do, and leave me a little note to say hi and how you're doing. Um, I thought I'd come in to do a little um, report on how I've been doing and why I haven't been on very much. Um, it's been about a month since I haven't been on. It's not because I didn't want to be. It's because a lot of stuff has happened during that time. Not all bad, but some. <laughs> so I think the last time I basically posted was when my uncle passed away. And then we went to the cabin the week after. And um, so the young, so after that, I kind of went, I shied away from doing videos. I have a really tough time sitting down and getting this done. I'm um, sorry if my eyes keep going this way, my camera's that way. <laughs> um, but I'm back. I don't know how long it'll be before I can do one video after another. It's just I'm really trying to get control of my emotions and trying to control me because I was diagnosed. <laughs> I was diagnosed with depression, anxiety, agoraphobia, and the worst is paranoia. I'm paranoid about everything. I mean, the simplest thing that people can just, here, I'll put you down just a little bit. The simplest things that people can just ignore and let go, I can't. It, it, I have a really hard time doing that. So I'm trying really hard to get that under control. But in the meantime, during all of this, I got into schooling. <laughs> I've been applying to a school and I wanted to go into my dream career, which is addictions counseling. And I didn't want to say too much about it because I didn't want to jinx it, but I sent out my last of the papers two weeks ago and what is required for me to get done. So I got that done. So now I'm just waiting on an interview and it looks good. It really does. It, it really looks promising. <laughs> I I really hope I get in. So which will mean that I'm going to be moving to PA away from here, which is four hours away from my mom and dad. I was the only one who, out of eight siblings, the only one that stayed behind to help them out. But my son is graduating this year, my baby. And then I have nobody here. Like it's, I'm completely alone. And my parents are in their 70s. So I had to have a good talk with them first and ask them if it's okay. And their response was, we're not going to be around for for a long time. And you need to go do something for yourself. You need to move on with your life. Don't worry about us. We're going to be just fine. Go do what you always wanted to do. So that gave me the go ahead to go, like continue on pushing forward to get into schooling. And my daughter moved out. How my heart. But she's got to go. She's got to fly on her own now without mommy holding her hand. So that ha those happened and a lot of other stuff too. But basically it's because I've been feeling really down and low and I'm trying to get a hold of it. And... I'm also trying to refocus on me. I need to focus on my feelings, who I am, and what I want. I need to stop losing myself in people, which is what I do a lot of the times. I, I tend to take on the world for them. So I'm trying really hard to not do that anymore my daughter said it's time for you mom you you tend to take people on and you tend to carry their emotions for them 
but you have to stop doing that and you have to it's time for you mom <laughs> so that's what i'm doing uh, i've been crafting here and there but haven't been really motivated or inspired to do very much and that too is starting to get to me because there's days where I can just go 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 and then and then when it dies it dies like there's no creativity whatsoever like and and that gets to me because crafting and doing things in my art journals my junk journals uh, even creating little tags pocket letters they keep me sane. They keep me from my brain thinking too much from f things that have nothing to do with me. <laughs> and I'm focusing also on loving myself. Doesn't matter if I'm a big girl or not. Like, that to love myself no matter what. And that I am beautiful inside and out. And to love it. And to own it. And to embrace it and to spew it out into the world <laughs> so I, I've been working a lot in my inner self but I thought I should do this video and let you all know that I'm okay everything is it might sound depressing <laughs> but it always gets worse before it gets better right so that's where I'm at it's at the worst and I know it's going to get better before I used to believe that Nothing will ever get better. It'll always stay the same. I'll always be hurting. and But I don't see that anymore. I know there's a light at the end of the tunnel this time. I know I'm going to get better. So now I'm focusing on getting the energy. Getting focused to step out of the house. Not to hide in the house anymore. Even if it means like a five minute walk outside. Because if I can't beat this, I won't know how to go to school. And I don't want to fail. Because this has been my dream job since I was a kid, was to be a counselor of any sort. So that's what I'm focusing on. So, but, so I wanted to come on and let you guys all know that I am here. <laughs> And that if you guys ever need anybody to to talk to, to, to listen to you, I'm here. I'm here for you. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going through. That's what I'm doing. I'm just refocusing. Um, and I will get back. Like, I will do the videos as often as I can. Please bear with me. Be patient. <laughs> but I, I'm here. And Carol, I'm here. <laughs> I love you all. So with that, I just wanted to let you all know a little bit. Um, I want to start doing story times, I suppose you call them, about my life. And this will all like make sense. You'll all understand why I am the way I am. But for now, just let me work on me. <laughs> so with that... I absolutely love and adore you all. Even though you haven't seen me in a while, you have stuck by me to the ones that stuck by me and stayed with me no matter what. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Not ditching me. <laughs> and I will get better and I will start doing videos that are good again. I mean, I'll get better. But for now, let me get better. So with that being said, I will let you all go. Yagose, meaning that's it. Um, bye in my language. Um, leave a comment uh, if you want. <laughs> I will answer almost all questions except to do with, you know, yuck. <laughs> so if you want to ask me anything, just leave it on the comments and I will answer you. Um, not much more to say. So live in love and walk in kindness. I love you all so, so much.